Virginia's. This is WHSB TV3 News at noon. We're making a difference for you. Don't always believe what you read. Those vacation ads could be too good to be true. Good afternoon. I'm Dan Buley. And I'm Danielle Banks. Today's Monday, January 15th, 2001. That's right. Thank you for enjoying your Martin Luther King Jr. Day with us. Today we'll have more on that as the day goes on. Right now we're going to talk about weather. Though. We got some weather to talk about out there. Let's go ahead and take a look at what things are doing. Right now we're taking a look at the national map for cloud coverage. You'll notice we do have some cloud coverage over top of our area today, but it's definitely not stopping the day from being gorgeous. Here's a look at current numbers right now. This ought to get you really excited. 51 degrees for Harrisonburg, also 50 degrees for Stanton. Humidity at 61 percent. Barometric pressure is falling 30.07 inches, and southwest winds are 1 to 5 miles per hour. We're going to start to see those pick up a little bit more, and of course, we're going to talk more about some other things going on. Right now, we're more concerned with the storm that's possibly coming into the area for Wednesday. You can see where its tracking pattern is going to be between today and tomorrow. It's really going to start to spread towards the southeast over top of Louisiana, Alabama, and uh, even making it into portions of Georgia as well, and even the northern portions of Florida. We're going to be talking more about that right now. Let's take a look at our water vapor satellite so you can see what's going on. We do have some moisture pushing its way up through the Gulf, and as you can see, indicated by the graphic just before a moment to go it's really trying to make its way and we're going to be talking more about that later and by the way everyone happy martin luther king jr day that's for everybody out there another look at weather coming up and right now to the top of the news with dan a valley man was arrested yesterday for molesting two young boys at the waynesboro ymca 52 year old lee beardsworth of harrisonburg faces two counts of aggravated sexual battery according to police two seven-year-old boys were in a locker room next to the pool when beardsworth forced them to fondle his genitals now he's not a member of the YMCA, and the Y says they do not know how he got inside, and they have no further comment. Now, Beardsworth is being held without bond, and his preliminary hearing is scheduled for tomorrow. If convicted, he faces 20 years in prison. Well, Governor-elect Bob Wise is now Governor Wise. West Virginia's 33rd governor took the oath of office shortly after midnight in Charleston. Incoming governors have routinely taken the oath of office at midnight on the day of their inaugural. The former congressman will participate in the official ceremonies today on the southern steps of the Capitol. That's when Governor Underwood will ceremonially turn over control of the governor's office to Wise. Attorney General Designate John Ashcroft will reportedly face questions about allegations that he improperly used government employees in his 1984 campaign for Missouri governor. The Washington Post reports Thomas Dussel, who was Ashcroft's administrative assistant when he was Missouri's attorney general, said in a sworn statement in 1983, that he performed political duties from the Attorney General's office. The Post reports Ashcroft declined to answer questions about his fundraising activities, which came up during a civil lawsuit, alleging that he filed charges against an oil company to gain favorable political publicity. The suit was later settled out of court. Ashcroft's Senate confirmation hearings begin tomorrow. And Ronald Reagan's surgeon says the former president sat up for the first time yesterday after Saturday's hip operation. The doctor says the 89-year-old Reagan is taking very little pain medication and he could go home from the Southern California Hospital in a week to 10 days. Nancy Reagan has been at her husband's side since he fell Friday at their Bel Air home. Doctors used a pin, plate, and screws to repair his hip in a 65-minute operation. The couple will celebrate their 49th wedding anniversary on March 4th. Well, we may still be battling winter, but some folks are dreaming of warmer and sunnier climates. In less than two months, college students from around the valley will be heading out for their annual spring break tradition. But some of the vacation deals out there may seem better than what they actually are. TV3 Susan Bohoric has been looking into these deals and is in our newsroom with more. Susan? Well, Dan, it's a rite of passage for college students everywhere. They shed the cares of a workaday world for a week and head to warmer climates. The odds seem too good to be true, promising cruises for under $300 and trips to Jamaica for less than $400. But according to the Better Business Bureau, sometimes these once-in-a-lifetime trips turn into a nightmare. Every year we try to issue a warning to do your homework, work through a travel agent, check out the companies with the Better Business Bureau, make sure they're not fly by night or they haven't just started up for this you know, thing. Wheeler suggests students thoroughly investigate these packages and the group behind them before signing anything or making reservations. And coming up tonight on TV3 News at 6, we'll show you how you can save money and aggravation when booking these special trips. Dan? All right, thanks, Susan. Well, the Internet is changing the once isolated lives of Virginia Military Institute cadets. Most DMI rats cannot have radios, televisions, VCRs, or telephones in the barracks. But the Internet is a different story. 
Now, published reports say the VMI computer network has nearly crashed at least twice because so many cadets were downloading music files. Cadets are able to watch DVD movies on their laptop computers and with the right software. Students can even use an internet connection to make telephone calls. Administrators say wiring the barracks was the only responsible thing to do from an academic standpoint. And the Virginia Zoo needs a big day. It's the deadline for the zoo in Norfolk to come up with matching money from an anonymous donor who promised $250,000, but only with matching funds. As of late yesterday, the zoo was about $183,000 short. Zoo officials announced last month they needed about $500,000 to begin building a $5 million entry complex. They hope to start construction by late February to finish in time to open with an African exhibit in spring of 2002. Well, still to come on TV3 News at noon, Dr. Eric Kramer and Dr. James Dobson. For right now, Danielle is in the TV3 Weather Lab. Well, I'll tell you what, I think I've got some temperatures you are really going to enjoy for today. But what about the rest of the week? Your complete forecast coming up. More people in the Valley get their local news from TV3 than from any other source. You may not need to know how important choosing quality home care equipment is today. And you may not need to know how valuable experience in home health care is tomorrow. But one day, someone you care for may need to know. If that day comes, you have a choice. And Roberts Home Medical will be there to help. Help with state-of-the-art home care products, professional experienced therapists, and dependable service designed for you. Someday, when you need to know about home health care, count on Roberts Home Medical. If you've been injured in an accident, you'll face many difficult decisions, including selecting a lawyer to help you. Before making that important decision, you should ask about the attorney's qualifications and experience. I'm Roger Richards. At my law firm, we've worked hard for more than 24 years building our reputation helping injured people. We invite you to compare our experience and success with others, because the lawyer you choose makes a difference. Call Roger Ritchie and Partners for a free consultation. Some people just have a better way of starting off their morning than others. With a little help from Burger King, that is. Mountain Valley Burger King, with a convenient location in your neighborhood. It's majestic with supreme splendor and regal power. It not only offers the luxurious comfort, but also extraordinary performance. And you can only find it in one place. Harrison Berg Mitsubishi. We offer something beyond just quality in a car. From the most affordable Mirage to the elegant Galant and the rugged Montero, every Mitsubishi is designed to express power, vitality, and confidence. The majestic Mitsubishi, the true diamond of automobiles. Harrison Berg Mitsubishi, where you'll be treated like royalty. All right, we want to thank you for kicking off your Monday afternoon with us right here on TV3 News at noon. Right now, we're going to find out what it's like outside. Well, if you've taken a look outside, <laughs> it looks beautiful. And you know what's great about it? The temperatures are backing it up. It is gorgeous good, outside. Good, good. Right here. We are into the 50s for today, and it's wonderful this time of year. January, of course, not very normal, but <laughs> we'll go ahead and accept it anyway. No complaints by most people. 51 degrees is what we're seeing now for Harrisonburg. Also, 50 degrees for Stanton. So we're getting up there, and guess what? We've still got some more degrees to go. That is the good news. So we see temperatures keeping on going up there. Humidity right now is 61%, and barometric pressure is falling. 30.06 inches. Southwest winds are still between 1 to 5 miles per hour. They do have a ways to go before they continue to pick up today. So make sure you dress appropriately, even though the temperatures are just absolutely amazing right now. What we're seeing outside for our regional cloud coverage, you are going to notice a lot of clouds. An update from this morning clouds continuing to thicken up right now. We're seeing partly cloudy skies. For well, later on this afternoon, we'll see mostly cloudy skies and then back to partly cloudy skies for this evening. Now, these are temperatures throughout the nation. We did have a look at a few weather watchers that called in. Just a, just a couple of them called in this afternoon, and they were bringing us temperatures into the 50s already. The upper 40s still a ways to go. We will see temperatures in the mid to upper 40s for this afternoon, and our overnight temperatures 
We're going to go down into the mid 30s for later on this evening. Now, when you take a look at the extended forecast, don't get too used to these temperatures because they're going to continue to fall throughout the remainder of this week. Now, what we're going to see right now on our enhanced Doppler is you'll notice that this little patch right here, this little yellow patch, which is showing off some rain, was over top of Louisiana this morning. You can see that that is continuing to push eastward along with a lot of moisture from the Gulf. Now, by tomorrow, we're really going to start to see this spread over top of you know Alabama, Georgia, making its way over the northern portions of Florida. You're also going to notice this system is going to continue to push eastward off of the coast. And right now you're seeing all sorts of storms, uh, snowstorms, as well as some rainstorms going on up towards the northeast. Now we're hoping to see this storm track head into our area by Wednesday night. As you can see, this is going to take a couple of days to get to our area, but we're just watching those low pressure move right along. Now here's what we're talking about. So you can put, I'll put this into motion so you can see this more clearly. Low pressure center right here continues to move through along with a cold front extending from it. That's going to lower our temperatures for tomorrow. We're also going to start to see this moisture progress eastward just like we were showing on the map just a moment ago and that's going to bring enough moisture to create a potential type of rainstorm for us late on Wednesday night. We also have the potential for seeing another system come through which could create a storm on Saturday in the form of rain or in the form of snow. For today, mostly cloudy skies, southwest winds continuing to pick up 5 to 10 miles per hour, and 57 degrees is going to be our high, so a little more ways to go. And tonight, partly cloudy skies, winds out of the west, 10 to 15 miles per hour, 35 is going to be our low, so not too shabby, especially when we take a look at the extended forecast. Temperatures still pretty much staying up there, not as high as last week, but as you can see, don't forget about that storm on Wednesday and possibly again on Saturday. Right now, we're going to go back to the news with Dan. Thanks, Danielle. In observance of the Martin Luther King Jr. Day, there are several ceremonies going on around the valley. In Harrisonburg at 7 o'clock tonight, there will be a candlelight vigil at Eastern Mennonite University on the plaza in front of the campus center. On the JMU campus at 7 o'clock, civil rights leader Derek Bell Jr. will speak at the Wilson Hall Auditorium. And in Stanton, there will be a candlelight vigil at 6.30 at the Augusta Street Methodist Church, followed by a church service at 7.30. Well, coming up a little later, we'll find out how to make sure you're getting the best care when you go to the emergency room. But after the break, we'll see what businesses are doing to get more African Americans involved in Wall Street. More people in the Valley get their local news from TV3 than from any other source. There was a red dress that I haven't been able to wear in seven years, and guess what? I'm wearing my red dress. The program really is flexible for a busy lifestyle. LA Weight Loss. Slimming America, one client at a time. Next year, Rosary High School is celebrating their 20-year anniversary for our graduating class, and I can't wait to go to the reunion to show off my new figure. L.A. Weight Loss has changed my life. Six dollars a week. L.A. Weight Loss Centers. Call for your free consultation. 1-800-526-SLIM. January, a time to clear out the old and bring in the new. At Grand, we're doing just that. We've cleared out our stores and warehouses for Grant's excess inventory clearance. Hundreds of items are marked 40, 50, even 70% off. Like big clearance savings on this futon, just $2.99. Plus, get a free scooter. The selection is huge, but at these prices, they'll go fast. The excess inventory clearance now through Monday. Only at Grand Home Furnishings, just Grand. Walk into Brooklyn, right here in the valley, and jumpstart your taste buds with the delicious meats and cheeses. We've imported them just for you to enjoy. Our fabulous Bronx stew with ham, roast beef, turkey, bacon, provolone cheese, and veggies piled high on a New York hoagie. Or chop into our Empire Steak, a great Philly steak with the works. The laid-back and friendly atmosphere will eliminate any doubt about where you are. Brooklyn, are you experienced? Near Toys R Us in Harrisonburg. When severe weather threatens your area, who can you turn to to keep you safe and informed? The TV3 Weather Team. 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, our weather team is committed to bringing you the latest information on weather advisories, school closings, and road conditions. So whenever serious weather threatens your area, tune in to TV3 for continuous team coverage. TV3 Winter Weather Coverage. Making a difference for you. More African Americans are getting involved in the stock market. A recent study shows an 11% jump in black stock owners over the past two years. Now, many organizations are moving to make that number higher. Jennifer Westhoven explains. In the 1960s, Dr. Martin Luther King preached wealth building and self-sufficiency to African Americans. 
Four decades later, they've made great strides, especially in the stock market. A survey by Ariel Mutual Funds and Charles Schwab shows 64% of African Americans own stock, compared to just 57% in 1998. But they still trail behind whites. We have a lot of catching up to do uh, in our community to uh, get more involved in the stock market, although some progress has been made in the last couple of years. Stock market investing wasn't a topic of conversation in, in our households. Many of us have not known people who worked in or participated in investment in the past. But that's changing. More African Americans are getting into the market through their employer's 401k plan. And with African American purchasing power topping half a trillion dollars, brokerages are targeting them more than ever. If you see larger companies uh, like the Charles Schwab and the uh, Ameritrade and the e trades and other companies that understand that uh, African Americans have a large amount of discretionary income, and they understand also that uh, the market in terms of uh, African Americans have not necessarily been focused on African Americans. So you see more and more companies that are providing a message uh, that's directed at and that's targeted at African Americans. Organizations such as the Rainbow Push Coalition and COBE, the Coalition of Black Investors, are also getting the message out that investment is empowerment. Ariel says despite the recent downdraft in stock prices, the key for investors of any color is to think long term. Even though the recent uh, markets have been more rocky and not as strong as we saw uh, one, two, three years out, if you're talking about those long-term goals, uh, you, we expect to see good market returns uh, over those periods. That's your money. All right, some interesting information there, but coming up we'll have some interesting information on emergency care physicians. How do you rate them? We'll find out from Dr. Eric Kramer. Right now, it's time to focus on the family, Dr. Dane Stockton. West Virginia Lottery is 15 years old, and we all have a lot to be proud of. Players like you have helped us raise nearly $800 million to benefit state programs. And away we go. For senior citizens. This man is uh, funded from the... Uh proceeds from the West Virginia Lottery. Good things are happening for Wood County senior citizens, thanks to the West Virginia Lottery. For education. This is a wonderful place for lottery funds to go. It's investing in our kids, our community, and our future. Good things are happening here at West Virginia Northern and in Hancock County. Good things are happening here. Lottery funds have provided 11 computer labs with approximately 250 computers here at Kaiser High School. For tourism and state parks. The lottery helped us put a locomotive back on its track. Thanks to lottery funds, we can preserve West Virginia Independence Hall. With the West Virginia Lottery, good things keep happening. Thanks, lottery. Thanks, lottery. Thanks to the West Virginia Lottery. I'm a waiter, and I do a lot of bending over, bending over tables, bending over sinks, bending over to pick up stuff I drop. And uh, my back stopped being able to take it. So I went to visit Dr. Riggleman, and uh, Dr. Riggleman took care of that for me. If you're experiencing any of these conditions, call now for a new patient exam for only $37. That includes x-rays, chiropractic exam, computerized spinal exam, and your first adjustment. Call Riggleman Chiropractic about your condition now. Former patients are welcome too. Congratulations, quilters. Your week has arrived at Patchwork Plus. It's the 20th annual quilter sale. This famous sale features big savings throughout the store on a huge selection of best quality quilting fabrics, notions, accessories, and supplies. The star of the show this year is the Quilters Edition Bernina 150 computerized sewing system. Classroom machines with 20-year warranties are on sale this week. Don't miss the 20th annual quilter sale this week only and only at Patchwork Plus. TV3's Community Calendar is brought to you by Roger Ritchie and Partners. Willard Community College will present a classical music and film seminar January 25th at 7 p.m. Call 234-9361, extension 2505. The Shenandoah Autism Center will hold their monthly coffee January 25th at 7 p.m. at Linden Heights Baptist Church. Call 540-213-0309. TV3's Community Calendar has been brought to you by Roger Ritchie and Partners. 
All right, well, we'll have Dr. James Dobson in just a few minutes. We're back here on TV3 News at noon. It is Medical Mondays. Dr. Eric Kramer again. Good to see you. Good afternoon. You know, you go to the emergency room, it's important to get good quality care, but sometimes you're just injured that you don't even think about that, but uh, there actually is a way to rate emergency care physicians. Right, Dan. Emergency medicine is its own specialty. And many times when somebody comes to the emergency department, whether it be from an injury or an acute sudden illness, they're not really thinking about who are they getting. It's really the only time when you seek out a doctor that you really don't have some say in the physician who ends up walking into that room and seeing you. So I think it's very important for the community to understand who they're getting when they come to the emergency department. And that's what we're going to talk about today. Right. We're going to find out how you can rate your emergency physician. We've got some information we want to show you. So exactly sure. what is the best way to spec to rate your emergency physician? You, can, you want to make sure that they are board certified in their specialty. Right. Many people don't realize that emergency medicine is its own specialty, much like a pediatrician, a cardiologist, or an orthopedic surgeon. We have specialized training after medical school in the specialty of emergency medicine. Hmm. So when you go to an emergency department, one thing you do want to ask the physician is, are you certified in emergency medicine? Because way back when, in the 60s and 70s, as emergency departments evolved, many times there were moonlighters or people who retired from other careers in medicine to spend some time in emergency departments. That has completely changed, and most reputable hospitals are now only staffing their emergency rooms with board-certified emergency physicians. So that leads me to this question. If you go into the emergency room and you have a broken wrist and it hurts and you want to get it fixed because you've got a broken nose and you ask and they say, no, they're not, should you say, I want to see another doctor? Well, that's a good question. Most of the time, the, the best thing to be, be is to be proactive. You're in a community. Call up and ask our, 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 you know, your hospital. Does your hospital staff board-certified emergency physicians? Okay. Now, you know, if, if you're in an emergency situation and you have to go to the emergency department, you know, you're going to have a physician there. And uh, if they're not board certified, you know, you, you just want to make sure you stay on top of what's going on, ask a lot of questions, ask what their background is. Many of them have spent thousands of hours in emergency departments and uh, do have a good amount of experience, but you do want to stay on top of that sort of thing. Very interesting. All right. Another thing we want to show you on how to make sure you get some quality mm -hmm. emergency room care is mm -hmm. ask the doctor of a specialized training in emergency rooms. Right, and that's what I was getting at before. After medical school, for instance, I spent three years mm -hmm. completely in emergency departments uh, during my training. And the other thing is, uh, do you get recurrent training? And, and in emergency medicine, you do. Every so many years, I have to go back and retrain and refine my skills and take another board exam and pass it and make sure I'm up to date with the uh, latest emergency skills and procedures. And that's what leads us to our next one, is a periodic review of training, which of course is good for all facets mm -hmm. of life, especially for doctors. Absolutely. Because there's new stuff, seems like, coming out all the time. All the time. All right. So what we want to really get at here is uh, when you go to the emergency department, it, there's nothing wrong with asking who's taking care of you or who's taking care of your family member. Now also realize that we also often serve as a go-between. We We'll often diagnose the condition and make a decision as to whether the patient needs to be hospitalized, mm -hmm. whether the patient needs to be treated, released with follow-up to their physician, or whether we need to call in a subspecialist for that particular problem. Emergency physicians are trained in many different areas, but they're trained in the emergencies of those areas. Many times patients will come in and often we're better at telling them what they don't have than what they do have. If someone comes in, say, with abdominal pain, we can rule out appendicitis, we can rule out gallstones, we can rule out a ruptured uh, abdominal aneurysm. Mm -hmm. If it's none of those things and it turns out to be more of a chronic condition, then we refer them to the, to the appropriate specialist. And so when you go to the emergency room, there's one question you need to ask, and that is, are you residency trained in emergency medicine? Absolutely. And there's you get nothing wrong. Then keep going. <laughs> and keep going, there's nothing wrong with asking, and there's also nothing wrong with asking for your own private physician in our community. Exactly. All right. Well, it's very good information. Some things mm -hmm. you might not ever have think, thought about before. Thank you for coming in, Dr. Eric. If you want to get in touch with him, we've got the telephone number. He is our medical expert, of course, 433-4393, if you've got any further questions concerning the world of medicine. All right. Well, from Dr. Eric Kramer to Dr. James Dobson, focus on the family. Nick Corsals, one of our volunteers here at Focus on the Family, tells of an experience he had while attending a dog show. 
As part of the competition, about a dozen dogs were commanded to stay and then expected to remain in a statue-like manner for eight minutes while their owners left the ring. Judges scored them on how well they were able to hold their composure during their master's absence. Well, about four minutes into the exercise, Dick noticed the dog on the end, a magnificent German shepherd named Jake. He seemed to be losing his poise, slinking slowly toward the ground. By the time his trainer returned, poor Jake was lying flat on his stomach with his head on his paws. Now, Jake immediately saw the disappointment in his owner's eyes and began crawling on his belly toward him. Everyone was expecting the trainer to scold the dog for his poor performance. But instead, he bent down and he cupped the dog's head in his hand. And then he said with a smile, That's okay, Jake. We'll do better next time. It was a very touching moment. There's a lesson here for every parent, too. The children are going to disappoint us. It's an inevitable part of child rearing. And when they do, our natural reaction is to bark at them. Why'd you do that? And how could you have been so stupid? But if we're wise, we'll remember that they're just immature children, just like we used to be, and simply say with warmth, that's okay, you'll do better next time. With Focus on the Family, I'm Dr. James Dobson. Blink twice and you can miss them. The laughs, the memories, the times money can't buy. To help you along the way, watch Focus on the Family commentary, featuring psychologist and author Dr. James Dobson. You know, it's true that the healthiest families are those that have learned to laugh together. Join Dr. Dobson for practical, everyday advice to help you enjoy those family together times. perfect wedding. Flowers by Rose. What was me? Yeah, you. <laughs> you got any idea what a beating I've been taking? My legs are wobbly. My finish is receding on top. I'm really getting worn out here. Put the life back into your furniture. Call the experts at Furniture Medic and get your furniture looking and feeling great. Furniture Medic, home or office, we're there. Now, the chair would like to have a word with you. Call Furniture Medic in Harrisonburg. Wilson Jewelers in downtown Harrisonburg. The place to find the perfect gift for someone who has made a difference in your life. Our loose stones have been individually selected for their outstanding beauty and value. Our outstanding collection of fine jewelry is a compliment. Wilson Jewelers offers you a fine line of giftware and repair services. Come join us. Our 100-year-old tradition has created many lasting friendships. Wilson Jewelers in downtown Harrisonburg, where customer service is still alive. You can make a difference in the life of a child. Be a mentor. The Valley Mall and TV3 are putting children first. All right, thanks for having us in for news today on this mm -hmm. Martin Luther King Jr. Day. You have a good MLK day. Yeah. Uh, oh, thank you very much. Right back at you. All right, and you too. Thanks for joining <laughs> us. We'll see you back here bright and early tomorrow morning at 5.30 or back here tonight, TV3 News. Have a great day. January, a